Hi today I brief history of the flying saucer. A flying saucer is a descriptive term for a type of flying craft having a disc or saucer shaped body, commonly used generically to refer to an anomalous flying object. The term was coined in 1947 but has generally been supplanted since 1952 by the United States Air Force term unidentified flying objects. Early reported sightings of unknown flying saucers usually described them as silver or metallic, sometimes reported as covered with navigation lights or surrounded with a glowing light, hovering or moving rapidly, either alone or in tight formations with other similar craft, and exhibiting high maneuverability. Disc-shaped flying objects have been interpreted as being sporadically recorded since the Middle Ages. On January 25, 1878, the Denison Daily News printed an article in which John Martin, a local farmer, had reported seeing a large, dark, circular object resembling a balloon flying at wonderful speed. Martin, according to the newspaper account, said it appeared to be about the size of a saucer from his perspective. One of the first uses of the word saucer in association with a UFO. Another early recorded use of the term flying saucer for an unidentified flying object was to describe a probable meteor that fell over Texas and Oklahoma on June 17, 1930. Some who saw the weird light described it as a huge comet, a flaming flying saucer, a great red glow, a ball of fire. The term flying saucer had been in use since 1890 to describe a clay pigeon shooting target which resembles a classic UFO shape. The highly publicized sighting by Kenneth Arnold on June 24, 1947, resulted in the popularization of the term flying saucer by U.S. newspapers. Although Arnold never specifically used the term flying saucer, he was quoted at the time saying the shape of the objects he saw was like a saucer, disc, or pie plate and several years later added he had also said the objects moved like saucers skipping across the water. Both the terms flying saucer and flying disc were used commonly and interchangeably in the media until the early 1950s. Arnold's sighting was followed by thousands of similar sightings across the world. Such sightings were once very common, to such an extent that flying saucer was a synonym for UFO through the 1960s before it began to fall out of favor. Many sightings of cigar or dirigible shaped UFOs were reported following it. More recently, the flying saucer has been largely supplanted by other alleged UFO related vehicles, such as the Black Triangle. In fact, the term UFO was invented in 1952 to try to reflect the wider diversity of shapes being seen. However, unknown saucer-like objects are still reported, such as in the widely publicized 2006 sighting over Chicago O'Hare Airport. Many of the alleged flying saucer photographs of the era are now believed to be hoaxes. The flying saucer is now considered largely an icon of the 1950s and of B-movies in particular and is a popular subject in comic science fiction. Beyond the common usage of the phrase, there have also been human-made saucer-like craft. The first flying disc craft was called the Discopter and was patented by Alexander Wiggers in 1944. Other designs have followed, such as the American Vought V173XF5U Flying Flapjack the British GFS Project's Flying Saucer, or the British SAUCER Flying Saucer, by inventor Alf Bayhari. Sightings. A manuscript illustration of the 10th century Japanese narrative, The Tale of the Bamboo Cutter, depicts a round flying machine similar to a flying saucer. A supposedly medieval record of a silver disc flying over a village in Yorkshire in 1290 has been shown to be a hoax dating from the 1950s. Disc-like flying objects were occasionally reported throughout the millennium. For example, in a mass sighting over Nuremberg in 1561, discs and spheres were reported emerging from large cylinders. They are also claimed by ufologists to frequently show up in religious artwork. 
Another well-documented specific comparison of the objects to saucers was the Kenneth Arnold sighting on June 24, 1947, while Arnold was flying near Mount Rainier. He reported seeing nine brightly reflecting vehicles, one shaped like a crescent but the others more discor saucer shaped, flying in an echelon formation, weaving like the tail of a kite, flipping and flashing in the sun and traveling with a speed of at least 1,200 miles per hour. In addition to the saucer or disc shape, he also later said he described the motion of the craft as like a saucer if you skip it across water, leading to the term flying saucer and also flying disc. Immediately following the report, hundreds of sightings of usually saucer-like objects were reported across the United States and also in some other countries. The most widely publicized of these was the sighting by a United Airlines crew on July 4 of nine more disc-like objects pacing their plane over Idaho, not far from Arnold's initial sighting. On July 8, the Army Air Force Base at Roswell, New Mexico issued a press release saying that they had recovered a flying disc from a nearby ranch, the so-called Roswell UFO incident which was front-page news until the military issued a retraction saying that it was a weather balloon. On July 9, the Army Air Force Directorate of Intelligence, assisted by the FBI, began a secret study of the best of the flying saucer reports, including Arnold's and the United Airlines crew. Three weeks later they issued an intelligence estimate describing the typical characteristics reported and concluded that something was really flying around. A follow-up investigation by the Air Materiel Command at Wright Field, Ohio arrived at the same conclusion. A widespread official government study of the saucers was urged by General Nathan Twining. This led to the formation of Project Sign at the end of 1947, the first public Air Force UFO study. This evolved into Project Grudge and then Project Blue Book. The term flying saucer quickly became deeply ingrained in the English vernacular. A Gallup poll from August 1947 found that 90% had heard about the mysterious flying saucers or flying discs, and a 1950 Gallup poll found that 94% of those polled had heard the term, easily beating out all other mentioned commonly used terms in the news such as Cold War, Universal Military Training, and Bookie. Explanations. In addition to the extraterrestrial hypothesis, a variety of possible explanations for flying saucers have been put forward. One of the most common states that most photos of saucers were hoaxes. Cylindrical metal objects such as pie tins, hubcaps and dustbin lids were easy to obtain, and the poor focus seen in UFO images makes the true scale of the object difficult to ascertain. Another theory states that most are natural phenomena such as lenticular clouds and balloons, which appear disc-like in some lighting conditions. A third theory puts all saucer sightings down to a form of mass hysteria. Arnold described the craft he saw as saucer-like but not perfectly round, but the image of the circular saucer was fixed in the public consciousness. The theory posits that as the use of the term flying saucer in popular culture decreased, so too did sightings. Long before the Kenneth Arnold sighting of 1947 and the adoption of the term flying saucer by the public, depictions of streamlined saucer-shaped aircraft or spacecraft had appeared in the popular press, dating back to at least 1911. In particular, Commentators like Milton Rothman have noted the appearance of the flying saucers concept in the fantasy artwork of the 1930s pulp science fiction magazines, by artists like Frank R. Paul. Frank Wa, a notable contemporary science fiction illustrator, has written, The point is that the idea of space vehicles shaped like flying saucers was imprinted in the national psyche for many years prior to 1947 when the Roswell incident took place. It didn't take much stretching for the first observers of UFOs to assume that the unknown objects hovering in the sky had the same disc shape as the science fictional vehicles. 
a scientific and statistical analysis of 3,200 Air Force UFO cases by the Battelle Memorial Institute from 1952 to 1954 found that most were indeed due to natural phenomena. About 2% were due to hoaxes or psychological effects and only 0.4% were thought due to clouds. Other very minor contributors were birds, light phenomena such as mirages or searchlights, and various miscellany such as flares or kites. The vast majority of identified objects were explained as balloons, aircraft, or astronomical objects. However, about 22% of all sightings still defied any plausible explanation by the team of scientists, and percentage of unidentifieds rose to 33% for the best witnesses and cases. Thus when carefully studied, a substantial fraction of reports is currently not understood. Fata Morgana and Flying Saucers Fata Morgana, a type of mirage may be responsible for some flying saucers sightings, by displaying objects located below the astronomical horizon hovering in the sky, and magnifying and distorting them. Similarly some unidentified seen on radar might also be due to photomorgana type atmospheric phenomena, though more technically known as anomalous propagation and more commonly as radar ghosts. Official UFO investigations in France suggest, as is well known, atmospheric ducting is the explanation for certain optical mirages, and in particular the Arctic illusion called Fata Morgana, where distant ocean or surface ice, which is essentially flat, appears to the viewer in the form of vertical columns and spires, or castles in the air. People often assume that mirages occur only rarely. This may be true of optical mirages, but conditions for radar mirages are more common, due to the role played by water vapor which strongly affects the atmospheric refractivity in relation to radio waves. Since clouds are closely associated with high levels of water vapor, optical mirages due to water vapor are often rendered undetectable by the accompanying opaque cloud. On the other hand, Radar propagation is essentially unaffected by the water droplets of the cloud, so that changes in water vapor content with altitude are very effective in producing atmospheric ducting and radar. Mirages. Thanks for watching this video.